Yeah, there's one. the Kali, there's the CC, there's um, a lot of options here, possibly. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Like a but then... Wait! Ling! I was, I was thinking about it. Oh. I, I saw the Haya and I was thinking, what if they go Ling? Objective of the game, turtle number one, purple buff still not taken by Hades. Hey, SOG Esports starting things off by having control on this turtle pit, but Diablo and JPL is just waiting for Hades to come in the picture. Here comes Hades. Just waiting for the hard guard as well. They're just trying to zone him out. Raging Sandstorm coming in from Lunar, and Hades will secure the turtle. Now it's going to be a tap of the blades. Pagu knocked up. More Defiant Blades on. Pagu with Revitalize. Trying to sustain over, but it'll still be first blood over to Hades. Strong, strong start for NIP Flash. I mean, JPL and Jablo just really doing their job, but Lunar gets kicked into that feathered airstrike, though. Okay, here comes Owingi Shadow Kill. Might be able to bring down Diablo, and Diablo is gonna fall down. Hey, hey, one for one, S2G. Make it Runchabuff, trying to take what NIP Flash took away from them. All right now, just JPL just trying to zone out three members, making sure oh. for NIP Flash to get the secure. Okay, Kazue will get the kill onto JPL. That was a lot of resources expended, but well worth it. Oh, gank up top. Oh, Siggy Boom. The Turkish Trigger Man will fall down in hands of two members of NIP Flash. Now S2G wants to go for the trade, trying to take down the turtle! Oh, bursting it down, Kazue gets the retreat down. Diablo with a stun, mid lane, raging sandstorm! And it's gonna connect, but Javiel catches it mid-air with the Way of the Dragon. Hades goes in with the Templates of Blades to bring down Lunar as well. And NIP Flash, we thought it was gonna be a stalemate, but right now they're going for the clashes, brawling in the mid lane. Helping that turret to survive. Kurt Deasy, what happened in the mid lane? The feathered airstrike took him real low. And, and the kill onto Siggy Boom onto the top lane really worked wonders for Vanix. Gave him a lot of space to work with, but JPL saw five members of S2G Esports just. And now they're gonna just turn Sister onto the top lane. AOG gonna be committed onto Vanix, but uh -oh. Van manages to evade that. Three heroes of S2G, but goes in with the Spear of Destruction. Wants to go 1v1 with Siggy Bomb. Here comes the hard guard. Okay, the clash. Oh, look at Hades. Hades. Onto the back line. Tempest of Blades! Coming down already. JPL with the Jeet Dota. Turret taken down. NIP Flash using the hard guard. That's so Dino. Hades walking in again. Not the Siggy Boom. Just a bit of damage. The Feather Airstrike will shoot them away. But they use that aggression to just get the turret. And play the long game and just go for the split pushes. Catch S2G on Esports oh. off guard and. Right now, Raging Sandstorm is going to connect, plus the Feathered Airstrike going in, ganking up onto Diablo, but he casts his right lines and glorious pathway on time, he stays alive! And Hades comes in now, goes in for an assassination, Tempest of Blaze in the back, Siggy Boom, so has to purify in time, Pagu thrown at a spear from Vanix, and it will be a two for one, NIP Flash. It's very clear from what Begin got, the Rome boots here, what they want to do, they want to just stick together and fight Feathered Airstrike. Forcing JPL out, but that's a big resource burn down. Now SOD. Oh, SOD gonna connect onto Siggy Bomb. Pops the spear right here comes the AOG. He's gonna bring down Siggy Bomb. Just going and working onto Pagu. The revitalize is there, but Hades goes in with a seven of blades. Gets the kill. Pagu is down. Now Kazuma is looking for the trade. Lunar trying to screen Hades, but it's not enough. NIP Flash are just too quick with it. And even if Siggy Boom purifies out of one, there are many, many more to come. Diablo with the glorious pathway. Stingy. Can't pour onto them. It's mobility and then it's sustain, right? Because when you get poked out, JPL oh, oh. gets taunted out and this time gets bursted down by five members of S2G. That's one problem crossed out. Zui should still be fine. What's really going to be concerning is the fact that. Oh, oh, oh. They're going in. Glory's pathway again and they're going to bring down the Tarkus Trigger Man. All of a sudden, S2G Esports has to walk away. They have no damage. They have no Pagu as well. And IP Flash will play this by the book. Going to go instead for the second Lord. Oh, they're going to bring in another wave up top. Hades, Hades is ready. Feather Airstrike goes in with the Templates of Blade but gets kicked down by JPL as well. Hades continuing his onslaught. Four blades onto Kazuwe. Here comes the counter attack. Oh. From S2G and in response, Kazuwe gets a kill, but Vanix is the main problem of S2G Esports just focusing on the base and NIP Flash. One more hit to bring down the crystal and take this game. Diabolical from NIP Flash. S2G wanted to brawl it out, they wanted to fight. S2G could not do it. NIP Flash went straight for the base. There was nothing else set in their sights except for that crystal. Every single member went for it. And even though S2G got the free hits on Siggy Boom, even though they got their win conditions towards the end, you know, everything except for Begin dying, it was not enough.
at that point. It was 14 minutes and 59 seconds. NIP Flash 